Hi there, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of July. A new moon commences the start of this week, and new moons usually have a very good reputation. But of all the 12 new moons, I have to say the one that occurs as this one does in the 12th solar house can be one of the most challenging. The 12th solar house is all to do with the psychological side of life. It's the side of life that many of us don't really want to look at very much. The areas where we push things under the carpet, where we would rather live in what we feel is the reality, rather than looking at the grubby underbelly of what is life and our own emotions. But this is a week where this new moon coincides with a conjunction with Mercury, the planet of communication, which is twisting backwards also in this area. And I feel there may be an unpalatable truth that you will have to confront this week, and it could be around a relationship. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be about the conduct that goes between you and someone that you work with, someone that you're closely allied with, perhaps even around where you live, and there may be a lack of trust. And you may have known this, or I've had some telling clues that that was a problem, but perhaps you've not really wanted to look at it. And this week, you may hear loud and clear that unfortunately, this isn't quite as upfront and reliable as you would like. In fact, friends of the fair weather variety may be more to the fore this week. Now that's strange because you still have Venus in your sign, which is conferring enormous popularity on you, but it's not popularity that everybody is going to buy into. Someone somewhere, I do feel, could be jealous of you. However, the fact that Venus is in your sign still and forging a superb link with Uranus through to Thursday of this week suggests that when it comes to your love life, something very random can happen. Perhaps someone will drop you a clue or play Cupid if there is someone who's interested in you. It may not come out in a particularly obvious way. Perhaps it will, but I feel there's going to be quite a lot of undercurrents going on in your situation. But the advantage of undercurrents is that if we dive into them and really swim through what they have to offer, we can actually learn a huge amount because they are about our feelings. They are about our fears, our anxieties. And once we start to grapple with these things and, and stop pretending that they're not there, they actually become a whole lot less fearful. But the problem often for Leos is your pride. And I know there's a pun there, but I don't mean this in an amusing way. It's simply because your vulnerabilities are important to you and you don't really like other people to know about them. But this is a time when you should be getting more intimately aware of them. If you can, you can gain enormously from them. And by the end of this week, as Mars makes its way into a very sensitive area too, where it will be for 12 weeks, old debris has an opportunity to be really confronted once and for all. And the more that you learn from this period, the more it will prepare you for when the sun moves into your sign later this month and give you the, uh, the bounce factor, the forward thrust that you feel is lacking now. It will come, but it's going to come towards the end of July. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.